welcome back to the widow's oil today i want to continue regarding the previous video i made which was called the new age yeshua to show that in the new age they also have a concept of yeshua which i've said is showing me that the, this whole antichrist called yeshua is being um, introduced and promoted in all the Western main religious circles into Christianity, into Messianic Judaism, and I see also in the New Age. Now today I want to look at the um, one that, that she spoke about called Mary Magdalene. Now remember, this is not the real Mary of the Bible. This is their conception of Mary being uh, an ascended master and also um, a representation of the goddess. Now we read in the Bible of the worship of the Queen of Heaven, which is something the Lord has always forbidden. Um, and it leads to idolatry and sexual immorality. Now, in the article which I read in this video, uh, there was something quite interesting where they spoke uh, about this Mary and said, Mary appeared to me as a beautiful goddess with a red veil of stars, diamonds in her hair, a third eye, a crown of fire, DNA spirals and flowers covering the earth. So you can see it in this illustration. So, of course, the red veil immediately made me think of the um, harlot of Babylon that we read of in Revelation 18. But you can just see in this illustration, which this um, woman who is an adherent of the New Age religion, she made this um, illustration of this Mary, as she calls it, and you can see it's the woman clothed with a red veil. You can see the precious stones, and then you can also see this fire coming here. So I wanted to just speak about that. In Revelation 17, we learn about the scarlet woman and the scarlet beast. So we can see the color scarlet play an important role. Now, you can go and read Revelation 17 yourself if you don't know it. I would imagine most people listening to this probably know it very, very well. So I'm not going to read it, but just pause the video if you need to read the chapter by yourself. It's very important to have the habit of reading the Bible for yourself and not just believing what everybody says. There are many, many deceivers and then many people are deceived. And all of us have some deception at this point because the leaven has leavened the whole lump. So it's important that everybody reads the Bible for themselves so we can help each other get rid of this leaven and not just repeat each other's um, errors from one generation to the next, which is what is happening. So we can read there in Revelation 17 about the woman. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the filthiness of her fornication. And on her forehead a name was written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth. Now in this video, it's not my goal to discuss Revelation 17 and the exact identity of the harlot in the world. I want to show how this worship of the goddess lies at the bottom of it all. So rather than pointing to all the manifestations of it in the world, let's go and look at the worship of the goddess um, itself. And that would help us understand better how it works in the world. So yeah, you can see the red and the scarlet, which this woman also saw in her vision or her apparition, as she says it. There are these gems. And then I wanted to point out this fire um, from her head. 
um, which of course has to do with the Eastern religions, for example, Zoroastrianism, which is fire worship, but this actually represents all Eastern or mysticism. Um, if you watch my video, how which explains that Judaism is very comparable to hin Hinduism, you will see those links. And in the book of Ezekiel in, and in Ezekiel 8, we see that the Lord shows Ezekiel how the elders are worshipping towards the east. Now, something else I wanted to point out is these flames, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really remind me, of course, of the Statue of Liberty. Now, I don't want to get into too much details. I just want to point out that these spikes on the Lady Liberty um, is also seven. And she also she or he also has the flame. So there are people who say that this is an image of Lucifer. Um, I don't want to go into all that detail. There is enough on the internet of people that have researched these things. It's obvious to me that this, this image is a universal sim symbol for the, for the goddess. And she's arrayed in in these colors because she is a harlot. Now I've made a series of three videos, which I will link in the description box below, in which I explain how the worship of the great whore or the queen of heaven happens. And this whore lies at the basis of all false religion. In this case, you can see there's the fire and then the earth worship. So, um, you can see it's rooted in the earth and in earthiness. This is all about being carnal and loving this world and the things of this earth, remaining in the way that you are and not growing, but loving what is here, all the things that are here and being of this earth and rooted in this earth. So she is also what they call Mother Earth. And so all false religion can be um, united with this goddess. You see, you cannot unite the religion with Jesus. You've got to have Jesus be removed. That's why there is this Judaizing and this move to remove Jesus. You have to remove Jesus because he is the one that causes the stumbling of offense and the fact that there will be division. Whereas the Mother Earth is actually the one that can unite them all in a world where it's about being carnal and about the pleasures of this world and the ways of this world. That's why she is rooted in the earth. And it's also got to do with fertility and all that, I don't, probably don't need to tell you that. I also just wanted to point out here, these uh, two strands here that, that look like DNA. And in my previous video, I said, why is there such an obsession with DNA? And um, one of the viewers answered and said, it's because, it's because of the focus on the earthly genealogy. The powers that be are absolutely obsessed with their earthly ge genealogy. And I thought that is an excellent answer. Very, very true. Uh, it's about being of a certain genealogy. Basically the fire up here, which probably represents the heavenly, is connected to the earthly down here via this DNA strand, which probably also can be seen what they call as Jacob's Ladder, which in the um, mystery teachings re is regarding ways to, to climb up to heaven, ways that they can ascend into the heavenly places. So in John 10, 
there is the well-known part where Jesus says he is the door. We know Jesus is the only way. Um, at, by this time, you probably know that this is the very reason why Jesus needs to be removed from Christianity and why very subtle ways are being employed to slowly but surely take Jesus away and to totally Judaize Christianity so that Christianity can be swallowed into Judaism. But Jesus said he is the only way to the Father. He is the door. And now I point out here for you the Jacob's Ladder, whereby, which is also, according to their thinking, not only ascension by spiritual means, but also regarding their physical genealogy. It's quite amazing how this illustration actually sums up all the things we read about in the Bible regarding this goddess and this false worship. So Jesus said, most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. So this climbing up, this ascension, which they try to do with the mystery religions using um, all manner of Gnosticism, um, wisdom, hidden knowledge, and sorcery. These are all the ways they try and seize the kingdom by violence. But there is only one way, and that is to go in by Jesus Christ and to be born again. Now, lastly, I want to look how this worship of the harlot or the goddess, the scarlet harlot, actually flips everything on its head and makes things upside down. In this article, which I discussed in my previous video, um, which I said I would link below, um, the one about the New Age Yeshua, it reads as following. It says, Mary Magdalene and Yeshua represent the divine dance of creation. She is the great goddess pouring her wisdom, compassion, love, and grace into the physical world, raining down on all creation, and Yeshua is each one of us receiving the universal energy. Of course, I don't agree with this at all, because as you can see here, yeah, the female is in the role of the male, and the male in the role of the female, so it's upside down. The truth is that God the Father reigns on the just and the unjust. God is the provider and the giver of all things. God the Father. You see? Or we can speak of Christ and the church with Christ being the head. So the male principle is the head and the female is the weaker vessel. But they turn this around. And in those videos which I made about the worship of the great harlot, I explain in detail why mankind prefers the goddess and to turn things upside down. Now this picture here, to me, illustrates the truth that we should live in this world. Because here we again see the Mary as we know her of the Bible. I know we are not supposed to make images, but we do in this world. So bear with me. You have Mary, yeah, again, the, the scarlet harlot, because Mary was a harlot, and seven demons were driven from her. But she, yeah, acknowledges that she is not a goddess, that she is a sinner, and she's at the feet of Jesus. So he is dressed in white in this picture. She is in scarlet. He is the head and she is not. You see, so this is the correct order that we should be because if, whether we're men or women, this represents where we are and that Christ can make this scarlet of us white as snow. So we do not remain in the sinful state, but he can change this through being born again, whereas in this 
process of worshipping the harlot, the scarlet harlot, a, a woman or a man is allowed to remain in the sinful state and then rule over Christ. In other words, not submit to Christ. And so that is why the harlot is worshipped, the scarlet harlot. It is an inverse or a reversal of the truth and it is rebellion. So yeah, Mary is in her red to illustrate her acknowledgement of her sinful state and the fact that Christ can make from her through the process of being born again he can he can remove all the blemishes and make her a bride without spot or wrinkle clothed in white worthy as a saint don't obsess about genealogy paul said endless genealogies get us nowhere Jesus said to Nicodemus, you do not even believe me about earthly things. How can you understand heavenly things? If we have learned in Christianity not to focus on the earthly things, not to make it about our physical genealogy, for example, and not to rely on men's doctrines, these are plain earthly teachings. How can we then understand the spiritual things about how, for example, the great whore or harlot works in our world and how we are deceived. How are we not just going to look at physical manifestations and point the finger and say, there is the Antichrist, there is the Antichrist. And the one that doesn't agree with us, we basically push them away. And we close our ears to what they say. And then we are blind to spiritual things. No. We need to believe what the Bible says and we need to understand spiritually. Both are true. That is very true. The Bible needs to be understood spiritually. But the literal must not be ignored. Because like somebody made a comment recently. If we ignore the literal then Many dangers and problems are hidden to our eyes. That's what I also found. I found that most churches just look at literal things, but they're still blind to the dangers. They don't understand spiritually. And then those that do understand spiritually, they only look at the spiritual. And then again, the dangers and the literal things are hidden to their eyes. So we need to look at both. But above the literal, which we must see, we need to firstly hold fast to the spiritual because that is where the life is. Jesus said that my words are spirit and they are life. And he said the flesh profits nothing. That includes focusing on the literal. So we need to do both. But ultimately, we've got to understand the spiritual behind it. Otherwise, we all see different things and we are not able to come to a knowledge of a truth as a group. And then we are dispersed and we are impotent to do anything because we are scattered all over.